Hi guys, it's W and I'm going to work on, um, whew, when I hit record, it always changes the view, so I'm going to go. Okay, we have a huge 24 by 48 inch canvas. We're going to do a, a fluid painting on this. Yay! <laughs> Anyways, only it's going to be different. I mean, it's not going to be the flip cups or anything like that. Um, I am going to, what I have is I have some that are mixed up. Some of these paints are all mixed up, um, and some of them are just these um, little cheaper Delta Crumb Coat paints. Um, now, what you have to do, what I spent the last little bit of time, is make, try to make sure, and then you go and dump it, and it's not the consistency you want it in, but um, <laughs> if you guys are wondering what this is, that's from the fan. <laughs> I didn't realize that. Anyways, um, I'll pull the camera down in just a minute. You won't see it anymore. But um, So anyways, what I've done is I've been the last um, half an hour or more, been mixing them up and testing them, and not just on there, and a couple other napkins and things, um, to make sure they're going to go smoothly. Now, I wouldn't normally worry about that when I'm just plain painting, but I could still without recording it. But it's always a good thing that way when you're in the, in the flow, um, you know, you don't have to stop and do all this. So, anyway, hopefully I did a decent job, but you never know. Uh, but I do want to tell you that um, working with, when I used to make several of these paintings, the, one of the really, really good paints to use, it's all ready to come, is Golden Makes uh, a Pourable One. And those were fun because they come all ready to go and you were just pouring them on. So if you're doing, you know, you're really getting into it, then I, I would do that. But because I haven't done very many of those, I actually have, I don't think I have any of that left. So, but we're making our own. And because the majority of you guys have been making these fluid paintings, you're mixing them with Floetrol or a pouring medium. So there you go. Um, those, that kind of paint will work just fine. Just you don't need to add any of the um, silicone to it. So, um, let's see what else. Guess what? I'm not going to use any paintbrushes or anything on here, which you're not surprised, I imagine. But um, I thought for the fun, because I had somebody tell me, oh, I don't have hardly any tools to use to make, you know, we got a few paintbrushes and that or anything big. A little well, we're going to use some kitchen tools today. <laughs> and, and I'll probably use some other things along the way. But um, we're going to do that. And then... Hopefully they'll wash back up. If not, don't ever go in the kitchen again. <laughs> so, um, I have a spray bottle here. So I'm going to be pouring some of the paints on it and we're going to be dragging them around on here. We'll see what's going to happen. So, um, I think that's about it. So, bear with me a second. I'm going to pull you right, pull you down closer so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, guys. Who knows where this is going to go. So, <laughs> all right. So I'm going to start in a corner. And I think I'm going to start with some, um, uh, some greens and blues. A little bit of that. And as it moves along, I'll decide. Let's see. I'm trying to think this out. <laughs> See now, just waiting that little bit of time. Um, it's probably been like an hour. This needs a little more mixing. Okay. I think I'll put a little bit of brown over here, just a little. And then I'm going to use one of the kitchen tools. Now, if it gets too thin for you, then you'll have to remix your colors. Like, you know, you have to remix them. And Let 
Look what I did. I bumped it already in the white. So I may have to come back in at the end and um, fix where I bumped. love using credit cards for this kind of painting. Um, I just went and grabbed a few. trying to figure out how to tad this in. I hadn't planned, I couldn't paint it, but I think, well, I'm just trying to lay out what I'm thinking about, what I'm thinking about going, where I'm kind of planning on taking this to a little bit at a time here. Now the colors I've used so far, these colors here, you can see, I'll show it up close in a little bit, there's a few little cells already forming on there. These do not have anything in there. They're just straight out of these containers. Well, it has some water because some of them are older. But um, that's the only reason why it has that in there. So I think somewhere in here I'm going to switch. And then I wear my gloves a lot, too, because <laughs> I'm known to paint with my fingers a lot. So you really don't need anything really fancy on a lot of this painting. Just And then what makes it even more fun is if you have music going and you paint to the music. And you kind of let the music speak through your painting or you feel the energy. It's awesome. This one back out. Let's see. Well, before I started doing the video, I was getting all the colors together, and the the black of all of them tips over and spills all over everything. <laughs> Just wait 
you didn't want it to happen. Now in a few minutes, this side I'm going to have some that have the um, that have been thinned down, and I could have a few squirts of the silicone in them, but we'll see what's going to how that's mixed. But chances are it's all come off already. Um, but just thought I'd throw that out there just in case. I guess I'm doing this mainly just so if you guys, you know, you're caught, you're in the middle of painting and you want to keep going and, um, you know, for some reason you need something else to work with. Now you could be pouring this on way thinner and still getting some um, some really cool effects. In fact, I thought I had some of these mixed a little thinner. So, but who knows where this is going to go at this point? I don't want the lid to come off accidentally. I've had that happen too many times. It's easier to take it off. <laughs> now you see all the little cells that came up in there? That one um, would have, must have a little touch, a little touch of, of the silicone in there. So I guess, hey. I guess I should retract my first statement because <laughs> I didn't plan on it that way. But Now if you buy the golden, it's all mixed up so nice and perfect. I don't, I don't want this to be an advertisement for them. I'm sure you can mix your own and I have done it most of my life, mixed my own. I'm just trying to give you guys some ideas, that's all. Okay, so I'm gonna hold it up a little bit, kinda let it do its Let's see, let's take this one all the way over here. No, wait on that. I'm just going to pour some more of that there, but I think I'm just going to wait until we get a little closer to finishing that. Now, when you get done with this, you're not going to want to move it. So, I'd just say, leave it on your table for a, a while. Because you don't want to mess up what you just did. And those came off all. This 
much as you can pre-plan one of these, how it's going to go, it never goes that way because, you know, it's got its own agenda going on. So... getting kind of thick in there. Did you see it kind of plopping out? That blue was pretty thick. Let's see if I got another pre-mixed. What color was this one? I think this is blue. Yeah. And blue's okay, just maybe not right that moment. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to add a little yellow in here. If you look in here, you can see it's doing its own little thing right now. It's mixing a little bit. Plenty of paper towels around today. I have a rag, but paper towels right over there. Cause you're gonna need them. <laughs> you're gonna need them for sure. So I think once you get now, uh, get your um, kind of get all your colors on. Now I'm gonna add some white, which happened to had to move everything off the table and add stuff to it because. Whoop, because this, this canvas takes up a good part of this table. And this white. Now, as I suggested earlier, to do a couple little tests, because I think this is way too runny up on the top. It was way too thick when I was mixing it and now it's too runny. So I'm just going to pour some of it off. Or quite a bit of it off actually. If I get down to where I think I want it. Or I may just go get some thicker stuff. Um, hmm. 
Hmm. So this is where you start looking at them like I do, and I'm like, well, I like this, I like that. What should I not change? <laughs> I'm trying to keep it a little bit of a little bit of an organic feel to it, um, you know. That was some of my goal. Now by doing it this way, instead of just lifting it and dragging it here, you know, letting the paints pour, which you can create a pretty painting that way, this way it's just giving me a little more control over the end, how I want it to look. So, um, and that's kind of, I still got to figure out how to do that. I may have to, I can't hardly come in with that exact white, so... Um, I'm definitely going to do something down in there, but I haven't decided yet. Now, back to when you're moving this. Be very careful. Maybe I'll just leave it here for right now. I was thinking about moving it, but... Um, What do you guys think? You have to yell real loud. I had a hard time hearing you. <laughs> oh. We tipped two of them over already. Okay. I just wanted to look at it this from this perspective. What what it's kind of looking at, like from over here, because I feel like it's a little heavy that way. So now I want to try to, you know going to make a few changes here.
Okay, so now, what do we do now? All right, I'm going to turn it again, and I'm going to go back over here. I mean, I could just put some paint on here, but it's going to, no matter what, it won't match. So, since I buy these canvases pre-done, so I, for me, this is bothering me. So now, I probably would have stopped it somewhere in here, and then, well, it's, you know, sitting here, sometimes I come back in and do other things, but because of right now, this is like, I've got to figure out something to throw into there, so I think I'm just going to run some little tiny lines in there, and um, I'm not sure with what yet, I guess, try, you know what, ah, back into this little fork here, that'll be good. So what I'm going to try to do is somehow bring this in here and then make it look like it's planned. Or, you know, i got another idea. could put a little white on there and just oops. Because white, if you look like you tried to just cover it, it's going to be real obvious, but if it looks like it's meant to be there, like some of these things, I don't think I mind too much, but for some reason that bothered me. Okay, here we go. So I think since I've done that on there, I may have to do it a few other places or somehow just draw this into this. So that's, I'm going to do that. I think I use my finger now. I'm going to grab a few of these colors in here. It looks, looks okay. <laughs> it wasn't my choice to put it there, but you guys know. But I'll work with it until it looks good. So that's how it kind of works for me. You know, I'm not going to stop. And when it dries, if there's something still bothering me, I'm going to come back on here and, and continue to work on it. So. so I think since I've got, you know, this white will stick up a little bit, I'm going to do a few, a few more here and there, and then, okay, so now I want, the thing I kind of want in here, which I originally visualized, is some type of meeting of maybe these two sides, and um, so how am I going to make that work? I'm not sure yet. <laughs> I want this to look like it is. Hmm. I think I'm going to do that with white. Ooh, a little more than I wanted, but that's okay. Maybe that's going to be okay. <laughs> we will find out. So, anyways, with these cells on here, since they are deciding to form, um, we don't want a whole lot on this big painting, because, you know, if you listen to my videos, <laughs> You can't have, can't have a whole thing full of them because the bigger ones do not look as good as these small ones do. So, I kind of like that because it, it kind of looks like the, the two hit. Um, I'm 
Yeah, I kind of like to leave it. It would have been nice maybe if I draw a little more blue into this hit right here. This is the thicker blue. I do want to tell you though, I, I should tell you this, white thin down without silicone in it almost always will make salsa over top of another paint, almost always with my experience with the kinds of paints I've used, so especially if it's a latex. Um, We'll leave that alone for just a second. I'm going to go over here and try to tie in this side. So it's, since I covered those little spots, I'm just going to put a little, just a couple of little white, who knows, you know, some little swirls of white off, like can't have it on one side, not the other, because it's going to look. Was that planned in the long run? If I don't like it, what I'm going to have to do is come in and do something. I, you know, I have another idea right now. I'm just going to put a little squirt over here. Okay. Now I'm going to need something clean. I don't want it. Make sure. Excuse me. Okay, I'm just going to lightly hit these. There. There's always a way to fix something, right? <laughs> I kind of like this. Nobody will know but you guys. Why did she do that? There we go. I think, yeah, that's just something that paint speck of something that doesn't belong. I'm afraid to touch it too much until this dries. I think I'm done with this. I can't honestly think of. I don't know if I want to do mess with it too much more. just this part of me that wants to make that a hair bigger. There's a part of me that says, don't do it, do it, <laughs> don't do it, do it. And unfortunately, you can't go back on these wet ones and change 
certain parts to very easily. So you kind of got to know when you quit, if you're done. This is the part of the painting I love. It's kind of like, should I, should I quit or not? And then you're like, but you like it, but can you make it just a hair better? And if you go too far, that's when I hate it. But if you stop in time, then you can be very satisfied. You know, you realize now with making the videos, you can see what, what looked better, you know, if you should have stopped or not. So I think that's it. Um, I'm going to let this dry and then I'll sign it somewhere. I don't know where yet. And um, I'm calling this one done. What do you guys think? Anyways, guys, I really appreciate you for stopping by. And hopefully you're going to be painting. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, guys, this is the finished product. All done. There's where I splashed in the white on purpose. Kind of looks like something's in the background. I like it. I really like the way that turned out. In fact, I may do that more often. You know, it just gives it a little bit of, of a depth in there. I don't know if you can see it in the site, but I'm guessing you can. See a little bit there? You can. But anyway, here's the main part of it. Um, oops, get this held up high enough. There we go, kind of. This is a tall one. I'm going to have to get way back to take that picture. But you can kind of see it there. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching.